I guess it goes back to when I was young and always being a comic book nerd and I always loved to read comic books and and uh, I mean I've just I've just been into comics my whole life. With pen in hand, Chance Priest can be found most days hard at work in the North Texas town of Sherman. And while he may be putting in hours, this is no typical nine to five. Because at Victory Comics, his only co-workers are alien warlords and space monsters. I'll do one painting or one drawing and it'll have five or six brand new characters. I mean, that's weekly. I mean, I've developed the story for 11, 12 years. I've developed the, the, the toys really hard for the last four or five years. Um, I never tried to sell them. I, I, I wanted to build up a gigantic stockpile. And do what? And, and then eventually sell them. What normally only exists in daydreams has become Chance's full-time passion. His make-believe stories become sketches, which quickly turn into action figures. But they're not just toys. Each one is a character with a name, a family, and thanks to Chance, is given a life of its own. I think I've got right now about 500 different characters sculpted. Nothing you see is just, you know, oh, duh, that's a cool looking dude. Everything's got a backstory, a history, their parents' history. I mean, I build, I build genealogies to all of them. Oh, this guy does that. Oh, and he has this power and that power. I get deep into all this stuff. So uh, uh, there's the, the main bad guy, Sartan. He's a Chromac, basically a giant winged caveman who's got superpowers. These are the molds for the, all the heads and all the bodies. Molds all through these cabinets. Uh, right here, these are, uh, these are three that I poured last night. There's a person in there. And there's a person in there. What's his name? Philo. Philo. Mm-hmm. World, meet Philo. One at a time, he takes characters straight out of the furthest reaches of the cosmos, and brings them to life. It's a piece of imagination that you can hold in your hand, but it grew out of a very real place, inspired by the real heroes and bravery Chance has known throughout his life. I'd say it really goes back to history. I grew up with two grandfathers that told me about their experiences in World War II, so that got me just since I was a little bitty, my brother and I both were just obsessed with World War II and the history of it and all the intricacies. The main character is Eagle Eight. He's actually a, a combination of me, and my two grandfathers, a little Audie Murphy mixed in there, you know, a little John Wayne in there. He's a World War II era Texan, so it's pretty odd to him. Not very many people can say they've created an entire universe, but with his own two hands, Chance gives birth to these wacky, historical, and sometimes scary creatures. They are for sale if you're interested, but Chance Priest says it doesn't matter if anyone's buying. The reward of creation is worth more than any paycheck. It's real hard to sell the first one, but when one person buys one figure, they're hooked. Y you don't know happiness till you found what you're supposed to do. Money doesn't mean nothing. When you figured out what it's supposed to be, man, that's happiness. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.